I think it's right here. So scoreboard. All right. So let's do the scoreboard here. So right now he has eight farm and I have zero. And I'm level one, right? And he's level two. So keep playing that a little bit. So as of right now, I'm pretty behind, right? I'm behind. And so that's why I'm trying to play a little bit safe. Um, I started out with uh, a Doran's Blade and, uh, and a Health Pot against Yasuo. That's what I always go. So then like, I had to go back because you don't want to like... You do not want to risk him killing you and getting 300 gold because once he starts snowballing you, he can. Once he starts getting kills, he's gonna start snowballing you, and you don't want that. So then, a little cool trick. Let me get rid of the scoreboard because it doesn't matter anymore. I just wanted to show you why I wasn't able to confront him early on because he was ahead of me since I was since I um, took a while to walk back. All right, so check this out. So now let's remove the scoreboard, okay? And um, let's go back. So here. I'm at lane, right? I don't have full life quite yet, but I TP'd while my life was still healing. So then by the time I got back, I had full life, so I didn't waste any time at all. So I can go back and get my minions as soon as possible. Because I need that gold, you know? For the XP and as well um, for my items. So then um, slowly I'm able to get a couple minions and whatnot. So uh, currently the score is 5.8. K team gold 6,000 so they're a little bit ahead so that's kind of dangerous you know so let's go back to the scoreboard I'm still behind so I have 9 he has 18 so but um, I know that I know what Aatrox can do so I try to like do what I can here so let's uh, I get the farm right there oh no I missed it uh, so he, he missed his uh, whatever is a wind, um, tornado whirlwind so then yeah I go there look at that so then uh, he crits me right and then I keep going I have my passive up, so I know that if I were to die, he, he, I'm level 3, he's level 4, uh, if I were to die, then he, um, he, I could come back alive, you know, so I'm not really concerned about dying, like, right now, but I'm still not trying to lose my passive, so, like, he, he flashes away, I flash too, he barely gets me, and then he messes up his wind wall right here, so he could have wind walled it, but he messed it up, look at, do you see that? He wind walled the wrong direction, he's supposed to face backwards, and then wind wall, but he wind walled while he's walking, so that really helped out. But um, so yeah, so then we fast forward it. Um, let's fast forward this. Uh, by the So then I decide to recall. I have like 900 gold at this time, so that I'm gonna go get my uh, vampiric scepter. Um, Ramis is coming. He wants to try to like put, do a gank, you know. So let's um. So then I go back to the lane. I don't have TP or anything, so I have to walk back, you know. Um, so fast forward it a little bit, get back to lane. Uh, times one it again. So then we know he's here. Lee Sins decides to let me know. I try to pretend to go this way so that we can bait the Ramus. But um, I jump on him, get him low enough to where he becomes useless in a 2v2. And then um, after that, we get the Yes Wolf. So he crits both of us, which was good. Um, Cause th if you're a good Yasuo player, you can sometimes get doubles. Like it's pretty cool how people you can get triples. It's crazy how good Yasuo players do what they do, you know. But um, so he tried to get him, but he messed it up. Um, he doesn't even have his ult, so it might have killed him. Who knows? So then um, he crits me, and then I do a lot of damage. Aatrox does a lot of damage early, which is why I like him because you can snowball it, and plus you can win early if your team knows how to group. So I got some farm, um, fast forwarded a little bit, um, I'm not going to fast forward it, but, so then this lane comes, sorry I'm going to fast forward it, Oops. then this lane comes, I decide to get the lane up here, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to farm up, because farm is the key to success guys, and of course I want that tower, but me and him, like, autoing it, we're gonna, I'm going to miss the farm, right? And he's, and we're just not going to be able to kill it in time by the time that Yasuo comes back, you know? So, um, I see that they're coming. I juked him. Look at this. So I go this way, and he goes that way, and I juked him. So I managed to, um, juke him. I flash the signal, you know? I'm like, hey, I'm Mastery 7. Don't mess with me, guys. Don't mess with me. All right, so then, uh, fast forward a little bit. Now I have two kills at this point. So the scoreboard... I have 23 farm, he still is ahead of me in farm, and I have 2 kills, he has, um, what is it, um, 0 kills, so that's that. 
So, uh, boot bring let's get rid of the, uh... So this is times two right now, so let's, um, scoreboard, get rid of the scoreboard. So, th they're kind of, like, trying to, like, put pressure up, up top or whatever, I think. So, um, so yeah, he tries to fight him, he they couldn't quite kill him. And he ults in for the kill, which was nice on his part. But then I, I see that they're there, but the thing is, is my Q right now, like, if you see, um... See, my Q right now was on cooldown. Um, it's not on there anymore, but you, it was on cooldown. But then after I it came off of cooldown, I was able to go to the blue, and then I uh, jumped on him. So then, actually, this is what I did. So I I jumped, and then I pressed E, and then I used my this one right here. I have uh, this. It's called Build Water. And it slows him and does 100 magic damage, so I slowed him with that, and I eat him, so I extra slowed him, and then I caught up to him, killed him, you know. And at this point, I have my ultimate, so I'm, and he's level four, so I can even turn it on him. But I know that Yasuo was right there, so I didn't want to like do anything stupid. So then I uh, continue going. Uh, let's get rid of the scoreboard. Um, I went around. No, 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 I decided to go this way because I saw that. Um, let me pause this for a second. I have okay. Let's go. So right here. Um, let's let's rewind that. Ten sec. Oh, 15 seconds back. All right, that's fine. So then we get that. Um, LeBlanc is coming. She's like spamming her her ping signal. Um, so she tries to get do something. Yeah, so you know they all go on her and stuff like that. So then I able to get the kill on um, Yasuo and then after that I was initially healing on Ramus because I'm used to like him doing damage like but it's still early game so his taunt he doesn't even have Thormo yet so that's why the heal wasn't really working and it wasn't really like it was just useless so then I decided to switch it to the damage W because there's two different types of W's on Aatrox and I decided to damage and then I killed him faster alright and um then I, now I have enough damage and they're both gone they just both passed um, so then now I'm gonna get the turret safely and I know that I'm safe and even if their mid laner comes which I can see that the mid laner is a mid lane um, I can I can uh, defend myself you know so then I go back I go spend my money you know cuz I'm trying to go shopping when I have all this money so look at this so let's first play but um, boom boom, so I have 5 kills at this point, I get the uh, Bork, I start with Bork, and then I go back to lane, right? So keep in mind, this whole, uh, all this game I was telling my team, hey, we gotta win early because we're gonna lose late, so I was like, focus on getting towers, not kills, even dragons are not as necessary, you know, like dragons are good, but like, it's more important to get the towers and stuff like that if you're trying to win super early. So then now I came back to lane. Um, so then I go back to lane. I see that um, look. I see that mid lane needs help. So I w go mid because they're all grouped here, right? Like LeBlanc at one point was here, so th they're all grouped here. So I um, TP to that minion right there. All right, and then I try to fight him, but he, I got a lot of damage that I was not expecting. So I. I don't end up dying. One second, let me make sure that. Um, I know this is moving around a lot. My bad. But um. So yeah, I want to flash and Q on him, but I think that he has flash, and I'm not trying to do anything stupid. So um, that's what I would do if I knew he didn't have flash. And, if, and then um, but I wasn't sure if he had it or not. So then uh, I decided to get the mid tower because it's kind of low. And I already got my top tower, so I want to try to uh, push towers, get the gold, you know, uh, help the pr put the pressure. And so that's that. I tried doing that. Keep in mind, I was considering, like, killing Fiddle at the same time. But he was keeping his distance. You know, LeBlanc, you know, did exactly what I was going to try to do. But I knew that I don't want to waste anything or do something wrong. So, but yeah, so anyways, um, so when I go back to top lane, because I noticed that there's some turrets. I mean, uh, minions there getting my turret. You know, Yasuo goes away, so then I decide to get the scuttle. If Yasuo was still gonna stay there, I would have went straight to my tower. But since he left, since I saw him walk away, and then I see her just die, so then I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, LeBlanc. 
So then, um, but it's all good. You know, you can't really outrun a Ramus sometimes, and even a Fiddle ult. I don't know if he ulted or not, but um, just so then I, that's when I flash and get him. So that's what I was gonna do earlier, but I wasn't sure if like you know what I mean. So then I saw Yes coming, so I was like, oh dude, what you doing? So I decided to come and try to help him, but then I uh, just died. So and I don't want to like give them any shutdown goals, so I don't want to fight that, even though I probably would win. Um, I just not interested in fighting that and I don't know where their people are at like Jarvan and Vayne who knows where they could be they could be in, in the jungle somewhere but I wasn't sure so I decided to leave and then after that I decided to go top lane so fast forwarded a little bit oh no my bad so I noticed that Le um, at this point uh, LeBlanc is pretty behind she has zero kills two deaths and five assists five assists is awesome look how much we have two assists is the most uh, after LeBlanc she's doing good as far as team uh, plays go but as far as herself individually she um, doesn't have any kills you know her farm is good her farm is good but she, either way she decides to go rotate top so I'm like alright she's going top I'm gonna go mid lane and me, me being mid lane gives me access to like all around the map now that I can walk it's pretty good that she did that and then um so then it's still times four so then I go back times one it um so then I walk back to mid lane all right I like the this skin because it looks golden see how there's gold do you see that it's like white and gold all right anyway so let's take away this scoreboard so then uh, I'm trying to push a tower or like you know, do something, maybe uh, pick them off so that we can get a tower easily. Because if they're right behind their tower and they're like preventing, they're just killing their minions and preventing you from getting the tower, that's a negative. We gotta kill them so that we can get the tower without having that kind of thing happen. So then I, I see this fiddle walking from at, from here. I saw him walking, so then I come over here and then um, I kill the fiddle and then we get the tower easily. But I also see Vayne because we have this warded right here. So, um, see how you, this is the way the map looks. When I pause it, this is the way the map looks. So we can see little pockets. Wherever we have a ward, we can see where they're at, right? So then I see the vein uh, walking this way. So then I'm like, all right, she's over here. So then I'm gonna get her so she doesn't like cause any problems for us. Um, but look at this. Um, let me let me replay this 15 seconds. I want you to show you something. Um, fast forward it a little bit. Alright, times one it. So right here. So right here, look. Okay, right there she was invisible. So I wasn't really sure where she was. Like if I knew she was right here, I would have jumped on her right there. But she was invisible, like right, right here. So I thought like I don't really know where she was at. So I didn't really know where she was at, so I thought I could go around or something like that. So that's why I didn't do that, you know what I mean? And then um so then after that I go there, I get the kill. Um, fast forward it a little bit, we go push mid tower, I think. Alright, yep, yes we do, and then after the mid tower. After the mid tower, um, we just decide, I actually decide to leave, and then I'm trying to make, I call the shots usually, because I'm pretty fed. So then I'm like, hey, we gotta leave. I see he's chasing, so I'm like, dude, we gotta get that. Let's get it. I ask for assistance, but then um, he decides to leave. So I'm like, all right. So let's not let's not kill the Ramus anymore. If he decides to back off, that's good. So then um, let me wait. Not time controls. What is this chat? Score display. Uh, Buru. So yeah. So then um, I'm over here. A target. I'm trying to see how to get rid of this little box. I think it's this. Um, let me let me show you. So I'm over here. I decide to go top. Okay, it's target frame, because it doesn't really. This is not really relevant. So let's. Um, so then after that, we decide to go. Um, I mean, I decide to go top lane. Get some farm. I push the top tower if possible get the times one so then I go over here I just get one little thing since I don't really want to waste my time right there so then I just damage a little bit so he tries to do stuff like that I don't so he's not even like he's not fed enough to do things like that you know so 
so yeah, I don't want to die, but I, I don't know where the Ramus comes. So, oh crap. So then I tried running, right? And will I live? Will I live, guys? Do you think I'm going to live or not? What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Alright, so let's see. Oh jeez, I, I survived it. And then they're all coming for me, dude. They want me. They want that shutdown goal. Because look at this. Right now, I am 8 kills, 0 deaths. Alright, so they want to get me, you know. So then I take off. I have like 1% health. Ram's coming. The, the Lee Sin uh, keeps him away from me, which is nice. Um, after that, uh, I'm able to go back or call safely. And then I actually TP back. So look at Here, I t after I get some health back, I TP back, I think... Um, I'm not really sure. I think I TP bot lane. Yeah, I TP bot lane. I see that Vayne needs some help. I'm like, all right. I'm sorry. LeBlanc needs some help. So then I, I go down there. Take this. LeBlanc don't need my help though. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, nice, nice. So then I, I push um, the bot lane. Fast forward that a little bit. Pushing bot lane. Get that tower. This is where I actually make a mistake. All right. So I like, I try, first I get the tower, you know, I, I know that I can heal up, but whatever damage he gets me, he's not gonna kill me. So then I try killing him, I get very close to killing him, but right here I was like one auto away from him, but I just couldn't reach, I was like, no, why, why, that's so tilting. And then I try to, um, uh, you know, like get the vein or something, like. But I end up dying, and I end up dying, losing my um, my flawless record. So eight and one, right? And then um, go back, remove the scoreboard. Let's press play. Um, right now I'm responding, so it's time for it. Dang, I'm still responding. It takes like wow. All right, so then here I am. I'm gonna walk back to. We'll see where I walk. Okay, I go to cloud. So then we get the cloud Drake, which is good. Plus 25 out of combat movement speed. And then, um... Uh, fast forward that a little bit. I go to the bot lane. Oh, I see that Fiddle was coming... Fiddle was coming over here to try to, like, flank uh, LeBlanc to go around her, but she ended up dying. He's... You know, people try to make the plays at the like at times when they you gotta have words out to make some plays, you know. So, uh, so then I, they all do their stuff on me, like Jarvan, Old, you know, uh, Yasuo, and stuff like that. So then I jump out of it, and then I eat. I was I was very low on health at this time, so like I couldn't really do anything to help them. So then right now they have like their little team going. Ramus is a little bit of life, so. Um, so then they're fighting and whatnot. But I told them I'm gonna heal off the Gronk, so I decide to heal. Because I would just die if I try to help that. So I'm healing up a little bit. And then afterwards, after I get the healing um, done, I jump in there. And then um, Sony gets that kill. I kill this Jarvis. And then after that, um, LeBlanc gets the Ramus, you know? Alright, so then uh, let's move on. I try to finish off the fiddlesticks. So keep in mind, guys, we're try I'm a I'm the one telling them what to do. Like I'm like, hey guys, we gotta end fast. Okay, so we gotta go. Uh, we should group mid lane. But instead of grouping mid, I'm like, I just decided to ping bot lane. And then they all came uh, where bot lane was. Cause when you're in the lead, like when you have as many kills as I did at that time, like look at the scoreboard. The scoreboard was, you know, I had 10 kills. The rest, you know, the team were they were having assists and they were helping out a lot, but. I'm just saying like I was the leader when you're the leader and you just decide to like let's say I was just decided to prolong the game and just like walk around and just get kills in the bush or like you know just in the jungle and I end up having 20 kills and then I lose the game because that's what happens you're gonna get like all the resources on your team and you're not gonna be able to um, do anything with it if all of them focus you like so if the enemy team focuses you so I was just directing them we gotta end fast we gotta win so then we got, we had to keep one of them dead at all times, like Yasuo up here, uh, to my top right, right here. And then Ramis, we were just keeping him dead at all times. And then, um, so then I'm up here top, so then I was trying to kill the fiddle, you know. And then let me take away the scoreboard. 
so then uh, fiddlesticks is right here so right now also lastly my build so I first I went Bork and then I went Black Cleaver um, I, and then I went to Ninja Tabbies and then I'm now I'm building into um, Ma because the reason for that is that um, this gives me the life steal and the attack speed and the slows that I can use to either slow them to run away or slow them to catch up you know and uh, also the life steal is, is a good thing to have on Aatrox the black cleaver gives me both health and it allows me to cleave my enemies which means like take out portions good portions of life away as well as be able to live longer to be able to do damage right and then lastly the maw is good against magic it gives me magic resist as well as it gives me attack damage and it gives me a lifeline so lifeline just means that when you're about to die it gives you an extra um, amount of health at the end of your of your if you're about to die it gives you like you know um, I'm not really sure I think it's like 200 extra life I'm just throwing a number out there but it gives you life and it, th that little bit of life can really save your butt you know so that's why I build what I build it's like defensive and attack damage like so I just want to let you guys know that and then after that uh, we're gonna resume this so let's remove the score display oops my bad the scoreboard and then press play so LeBlanc ended up getting that kill and then um, you know LeBlanc's doing some good stuff over here look at that <laughs> I'm, all, I'm cleaning the wave over here though so that we can push the tower and then um, we ended up pushing it I ulted okay one thing I did is I ulted I got my stacks up and then um, I always try to keep my stacks up at all times because then whenever I need it I can just like use it so so then like Lee Sin kicked them away, you know, but that's fine, got the kill, you know, um, I can go backwards and backtrack and try to go kill this guy, but that's use that's pointless, so I decided to get the um, inhibitor, I told them to help me out, you know, and then I saw that, um, I see he was about to eat me, so then I tried to eat him. Uh, so then I get the inhibitor, he slash to try to do some crazy stuff, I jumped to try to do some crazy stuff, so we both like <laughs> messed each other up. So then he ends up killing me with the burst, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna save him. Um, one for one, you know that's a good trade. All right, so then uh, after that, I told them, hey guys, um, focus the tower. You know we gotta get that tower. Um, don't be chasing the kill. You know it's not really gonna be helpful, but it does keep her off of um, Jinx, which is important. But yeah, they ended up getting the tower. I was dead right here, but I was about to have TP as well. So then I'm like, guys, um, I'm gonna be right there in a little bit. So just like hang in there. I'm coming, I'm coming. I told them teleport, you know, target the red nexus, right? Um, and then, so yeah, my team is all alive, which is good. They have all their teams dead right here. So that's good too. <laughs> Look at the Ramus guy left the game. By the way, we didn't even see that. You know how it says Ramus has left the game? We didn't even see that on our team, like on our side, I don't think. Um, actually, well, maybe we did, but I wasn't even paying attention. I don't think we did. So, um, yeah, we ended up getting it, and I'm TPing over here. And then finally, victory, guys, victory. Scoreboard is this. I had final, my final items were, in fact, let me uh, show you. It was a quick little build. Instead of, like... Yeah, but let me sh let me let me let me show you that. So yeah, you can see it anyway. So uh, Bork, I was trying to zoom in or whatever, whatnot. So uh, Bork, um, Ma, Black Cleaver, and Ninja Tabby. You know, for defense and offense. All right, that's that's my build for that. The correct build on H Rocks, guys, is relative. But this is the part two series. I want to let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys uh, for watching and. Uh, if you want to leave a like and a subscription, that would be I would be very grateful for that. I'm trying to hit a few more subscribers. I'm trying to get to 100. But um, thank you very much for watching. Um, H Rock City, uh, peace out, guys.